Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Insight, and this is continuation of Azure Data Factory tutorial. So today we are going to see about the schema drifting in data flows. So what is schema drifting? So basically, schema drifting is the case where your source often changes the metadata, like the fields, columns, or the type can be added or remove or change on the fly, without handling for the schema drift your data flow becomes vulnerable to upstream data source changes so this is basically let's assume we are having the source data and the source data is going to change very often for example previously we have only two columns and after the first execution next time when the file received then it has three columns or for example the second case if your file in the first execution has three columns in the second execution it will have only two columns so such type of changes in the data or the data type changes so on that case we have to handle that by using the schema drifting option inside the data flow so don't worry if it's not very clear now we'll see in the practical so go to on the browser and here like inside the blob storage under this SSE testing under this input folder we have this sales india file and this sales india file is having total six columns like sales order ID, date, customer ID, quantity, value and country. So here as we could see, we just want to load the data from this file to the output folder of the sales underscore India. So we just want to copy the data from here to there. Then we'll try to do certain modifications at the source and then again we'll see. So go to on the Azure data factory and here let me quickly go in the data flow let me quickly create a new data flow here so we can create it here let me call this as schema drifting like this now we can see the add source so let me click on that and after that we can go here and under this data set we can search for the data set so we have not created the data set for this so let me try to create a new data set here Go to the Azure blob storage, click on continue, delimited text, then continue. Let me call this as data set for the source of sales India. Now we can select the link service, which is the SSE testing. Then, then we can see the first row as header, select this checkbox and let me select the file from here. So input folder and this is the file. So let me open it everything is okay we can click on okay now we can go in the source option now we can go in the data preview and try to refresh it so we will be going to see the data as we have seen at the source so that we can see that that we can see now go to the source setting again so under this here we can see the option and under this option we can see the allow schema drift so let me check this information so it is saying select allow schema drift if the source column will change often the setting will allow you to all incoming fields from your source to flow through the transformation to the sink so this is basically quite enough to handle whatever the data that we are getting from the source if the metadata is not going to match then it will handle all these in the second we can see the inferred drifting column types so this is the auto direction of the type of the column so let me select this checkbox as well so it will be going to detect automatically now let me select the sync so we just want to dump the data into the sync location so for the sync i did not created the data set so let me create a new data set here so again for the azure blob stories delimited text and after that here let me call this as data set of destination for the sales India now we can select the link service and then we can select the path which is the output folder then here the first row as header so we have to select this checkbox go to the advanced so everything is okay let me click on okay here so we have configured the data set here let me go in the setting and here we can see the file name option so we have to use the output to single file and let me call this file as sales 
India like this. So this is the CSV file. So we have to select this. Set single partition. So we have to select that one. Now let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it. So we will be going to see the data. So here as we can see the data. So now let me go and try to publish all. So publish like this. Now let me go in the pipeline in between while this publish is happening and try to create a new pipeline for executing this data flow. Execution of this data flow we have to use the data flow activity. So we can drag and drop it here and now we can go in the setting and under this setting we have to choose the data flow that we have created which is the schema drift. Now let me try to debug it. So it will be going to load the data from source to destination end. So here, so let me go in the output folder and under this output folder, we can see this one. So let me try to open it and let me quickly go in the edit mode. And after that, we can see the preview. So we can click on that. So we are able to see the data in the destination end. Now, let me go in the source and we'll try to make the change in the source file. Then we will see how it is going to handle that error. So click on this edit again. This time I am going to remove the, this customer ID from here and the values as well for this customer ID. So let me quickly remove all these. Now we can save this. So this time your source is having only five columns. We don't have the customer ID here. So let me try to debug it again and then we will see whether this is able to handle this or not. So let me go quickly in the output folder of this and under this output folder, we can see this file. Let me open this again, then go to edit and after that click on preview. So now what we can see, we can see the customer ID column is here, but the values are not available because in the source side, we did not have the customer ID column. So what we can say that if destination is having any column that is not in the source, so destination will have that column and pipeline will be executed as well. But the data under that will be blank as we can see. Now let me go in the source again and we'll try to add a new column here. Then we will see how it is going to handle that. So here let me go in the edit and after that let me add the city here. So city like Mumbai, Mumbai, Noida, Noida, Pune, Pune as well. And for these two will be Lucknow. Now let me try to save this. So this time your destination table did not have the city column. So in your source, we have added a new column here. Destination table has the customer ID and source is not having the customer ID. Destination did not have the city. Now let me try to debug it again and we will see what will be happening now. Go to the output folder and then let me try to open this. And after that, we can go in the edit and under this we can preview it. So what we can see in the destination it has added a new column. This is going to handle all these just because of the schema diff that we have selected here. So if any changes is happening at the source end so it is quite enough to deal with all these. So as we can see in the destination customer ID is not in the source but your pipeline got executed successfully. Your source did have the data for city column, but your destination did not. So destination now we can see have the extra column for the city. So I hope guys you have the clear understanding about the schema drifting inside the data flows. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.